Hey everyone, I am going to demonstrate you how much powerful Evil Genix is with modified source code where bot blocking, IP hiding and private SSL certificate function is available. And here is a quick disclaimer, this video is only for educational purpose. Don't misuse this knowledge. If you are going to miss this knowledge, then I will be not responsible for your actions or whatever counter actions will be taken on you. Also, here is the thing. The mode of this particular video is you can learn Evil Genix by yourself. You can understand how attacker thinks and protect yourself, right? So without wasting time, let's get started. So as you can see, I'm already on the server. If I do ls, can you see the Evil Genix file? Okay, so let me do a dot slash Evil Genix and it will basically load me the Evil Genix, okay? So as of now, nothing is configured. So that's why everything is empty, empty. So let's do one thing. Let's try to configure uh, everything, okay? So let me first edit the um, configuration file. Okay, so what I can do is I can type nano and I can type tilt icon and slash. So that will take me to the uh, base dir and after that i will type dot evilgenix and hit the enter button okay so right now i am inside the devilgenix folder so that's why it is saying is it is a directory so let me quickly exit it from this and type config.json okay so this is our configuration file so in the configuration file you will find there are a lot of options available first of all in the custom there is one option called cache that means we can cache the website files so that we can increase the speed of the uh, evil genix then there is a custom ssl option so it is false right now so what you need to do is you need to make it true so let me just go here and type true okay so that will enable then there is a turnstile key option okay so which we haven't configured yet but we need to configure it okay so let me do one thing let me go here where my cloudflare account is available so let me go back to the cloudflare and uh, here i need to find one option called turnstile so once i click on the turnstile it will uh, show me the turnstile page so here we need to create one widget so in my case, I'm going to visit uh, four times X and then here we need to click on the add a host name in the place of the add a host name. I will uh, basically use this particular opentfcloud.com as it is. Okay. So this particular host name is added. Let me click on the add and then uh, I need to click on the create the widget. So here I can say manage non-interactive invisible. So that also can be done. So whatever the a default option is I'm just going to uh, keep as it is. So let me click on the create and it will show me the one side key and one secret key. So side key we suppose to copy, go back to the terminal and in the place of the turnstile here, I will paste that particular key. Okay. So right now we have the side key now. So if you go into the general setting, then there is a domain option available. So in the domain, of course, we need to uh, add our domain name. So let me go back and let me check which domain I'm going to use. Okay, so obviously we are going to use this particular opentfcloud.com domain. So I will just copy my domain name and paste it right here. Then again, we need to add our external IP address, which is our server IP address. And let me just paste that particular server IP right here. Okay, so now the server IP is there, the domain is there. Then there is our turnstile key is there. We enabled the custom SSL option also. So here the caching option is also available, but I'm not enabling as of now. Okay. So because I just want to keep it. Okay. So let me do one thing. Let me save the file and exit from this file. And now let me, okay. Now what we need to do is we need to go to the, let's say opentifcloud.com and in the DNS option here, I forgot to add the DNS record. So let me just add the DNS record. So here I will paste my IP address and save it. Uh, by the way, uh, here I can enable the proxy status so that my IP will be uh, uh, IP will be invisible. Okay. Okay. Let me add the second record and click on this save. Okay. So now our work on this particular Cloudflare has been done. Okay. So I'll just close the Cloudflare and open the terminal right here. So once I open the terminal, let me do dot slash evil genix. And as you can see, once I run the Evil Genix, it is not getting the SSL certificate. Reason being, we haven't set up the host name yet. So let me do one thing. Let me set up the host name and uh, let me type the fishlets. Then I will type the host name and then I will type the one and our host name is going to be our 
whatever we have just used okay so let me do one thing let me click on the paste right here and let's hit the enter so now hostman name is set so let me just uh, enable the fishlet so fishlets enable and then there is a host name sorry the fishlet name okay fishlet number one once it is done then i need to create the lows url so i'll say lows create and then i'll uh, basically use the one and it will create so now i will just say lows and can you see the url is already created now if you remember i added the turnstile key so here i need to enable the turnstile also so what i will do lows edit uh, then uh, id number zero because our url name is zero then we will type redirector okay redirect tor redirector okay and here we will type turn style okay so once we add the turn style and if i do lows right now can you see the turn style has been enabled right here okay um that's great now there is a one more thing which is pending first of all we need to exit from this one and do ls right here so if you do ls nothing is showing up but if you do ll or ls all then you will find there is a one more folder called dot cert which is created inside that there is a certificates so let me do dot cert and okay so i think i opened the wrong directory again so let me just go back and cd into dot crt or cart cart i guess or cert let me check cert yes cert okay let me go inside that particular directly and i will find here cert.pm and key.pm so simply what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete that particular cert.pm and create uh, my cert.pm okay so let me just copy paste and it is removed and now let me copy paste and now uh, I can basically create a new file now which exactly certificate i am going to add right here so i'll go to the cloud fair and inside the tls ssl certificate i need to generate i think the origin certificate okay so if i click on the origin certificate it should load but right now it is taking time okay so here i can click on the create certificate and here i will just keep everything default it is generating wildcard certificate for 15 years okay that's completely okay so let me copy the certificate value and go here and paste that certificate value as it is save it exit it okay so i think the saving for control s and exit from this one and exactly same thing we are going to do for the key.pem also okay so here is my key.pem let me remove it first then nano and then paste it and enter it and let me copy the key from here and paste it as it is and save and exit sorry again let me save and exit it okay so once i do that i have the certificate and key file ready so i'll just go back and start the evilgenix one more time and this time it will not get ssl certificate because there is a no need uh i have already added the self sign certificate uh which is a wildcard certificate generated by the cloud fair okay now uh really great now once i run the evilgenix now i need to get the loads and get url and id number zero okay i think there is a one more thing i forgot uh let me go back to the cloud fair and in the security section if i go into the security and if i open the bots section right here okay okay cloud fair whatever it is okay in the bot section it is not loading okay so right now there is a bot fight mode which is enabled that you are supposed to enable then there is a block ai bot okay so i have enabled and say block on the sorry block on the all pages then there is manage robot and ai limit uh, i don't think so that are uh, necessary to block but these two options are really really uh, necessary okay so uh, once i do that uh, if i go here i have recorded the url right so let me just so i have just got the url right so let me just go ahead and copy this particular url and by the way have you noticed something when the link is created usually even evil genetic there is a lot of bot traffic which is coming but in this case there is almost zero bot traffic we haven't seen any single entry on this one okay 
there are reasons why this is the not happening first of all we are using the uh, encrypted connection one to one so whatever the communication is happening is happening only on the server to the cloudflare so no interference and if there is interference then it's supposed to go through the cloudflare and cloudflare is blocking every single thing okay so now let me go ahead open the browser right here and let me paste that particular link that i have created okay so right now it is saying web server is down so i know why this is happening i think uh, in the ssl and tls section if you go inside the overview there is this particular configure option we need to configure it to the i think uh, uh, strict or full uh, i think the strict because we have generated from the cloudflare so it's supposed to be strict so okay so let me open the new tab paste the url right here and let's see if it is loading so right now it is on the turnstile page where the redirection process is happening it is showing the captcha verifying and all uh, if you want to make it interactive you can make it interactive that i have done already if you want to make it invisible that also can be done uh, invisible also can be done and then there is um, i think one more thing i guess which also can be done okay great but in my case can you see it is saying stuck here okay why it is saying stuck here because um I think I am using the VPN because of the VPN it is saying this stuck here. So let's refresh one more time. Maybe my VPN IP is not good or something uh, that might happen. So that's why it is saying stuck right here. So refresh one more time and let's see if it changes. By the way, you have noticed something. So if you go to the terminal there are no bots this is only my connection which is cached right here only one connection that's it there are no bots zero bot okay zero bot okay so if you go again it is still verifying let's give some time okay i think it is happening because of my vpn connection only so what i will do i'll close this particular tab go back right here and exit from this one and what i will do i'll start this screen session so i'll say screen uh, dash yes and i'll say evil g evil g okay something like this i'll start the uh, this particular evil Genix right here and uh, i'll basically so i'll exit from the screen section so control a d uh, that's supposed to do the work now i have exited from the screen session let me clear the screen and now i will basically try one more time and if it doesn't work then i'll simply change my ip address or change my vpn address okay so let me enter one more time and this time it is still saying verifying still saying verify i don't think so it will work okay uh, it is giving me verifying human okay so this time it works i don't know maybe my vpn ip address is already changed automatically that's why it worked okay so if i keep it as it is it is just going again uh, to the whatever the website that supposed to go uh, according to fishlet okay so right now it is loading really really slow because two reasons first of all my server is small and the second is basically mm, i'm using vpn okay so that might be the reason right here okay so the website is loaded right here so if i go here uh to check the screen session how can i check screen uh, dash r and if i add the uh, i think whatever the session name is and it will give me the section name okay but if you check the traffic right here can you see zero bots zero bots okay there are not even single bot uh, which is coming here okay all of the uh, okay so there is uh, just one ip address came but i'm assuming this ip address is from the cloudflare only and uh, it is automatically blocked because it might be possible that cloudflare cdn is checking uh, for the files to cache okay so, so that's why it is coming but just one connection we got that to from the cloudflare because only cloudflare can send the request as we have used the uh, origin certificate if someone else is making the request to the uh, original certificate it will not work okay simply okay so can you see the login page is also loaded right here and the traffic is also right here okay so whatever i demonstrated you there are few things that you supposed to notice so attacker is using cloudflare proxy so there is a no backtrack 
uh, to check the IP address because it will only uh, show the IP address from the Cloudflare. The second thing is attacker is using the Cloudflare turnstile. So that means no bot can enter into the page from directly uh, to the link also. So yeah, that is also there. The second, the, sorry, the third thing is uh, attacker is using bot protection. So whatever bots are coming from the uh, network side, it will automatically block. And the fourth thing is it is using the uh, uh, origin certificate. So hence it is using the origin certificate. What is happening is the server and the Cloudflare is connected like the pipe, like encrypted connection. So no one can directly talk to the server uh, and gets uh, some information. It has to go through the Cloudflare and Cloudflare will block if they are bought. Okay. So that means that is also there. Okay. And I think the final uh, thing is, and the final thing is attacker is also enable the bot fight mode. So that means it is almost impenetrable. So this much good uh, attacker can get and it will basically bypass virtually every single protection there exists. Okay. And it can use, uh, he can use uh, for his own advantages. And because of this, the phishing attacks today's in the today's world are getting more and more sophisticated, right? So that's why it is becoming more and more important to learn how to identify the phishing pages from the original pages and then make sure that you are entering your credentials on the right page okay so in this case the whole setup is quite promising okay really really promising so there is a chance that a lot of user might fail for this particular setup those who don't have knowledge of it so that's why it is important for you to learn all of this so that you can understand how exactly the attacker is thinking and which method attacker can use so that you can develop your own countermeasures and you can protect yourself okay so for technical users i know it is possible but for normal it will be really really hard but still i will suggest for normal people also watch such video and try to understand how the phishing infrastructure is set up so that you can uh, see how it can be countermeasures not only that whenever you are entering any credentials so right now can you see this the fish led is for the fluxet.com right so if i go to the this particular page then it will show the fluxet.com page so this fish led is created for sorry not fluxet.com it is created for the fiofi.in that particular website so whenever you are entering the credential make sure that you are entering on the right page with the right domain if the website name is fiofi or fiofi.in then domain also supposed to be the fiofi.in you cannot just blindly trust any domain name and enter your credential that might be the phishing site both sites will look crazy promising so if i open right here the uh sorry fiofi.in then you will understand what i am trying to say so this website and this website are crazy promising so don't forget that you need to check the url also for the domain name so that you will make sure that you are not entering the credentials on the wrong website okay and this is how you can protect so overall this particular demonstration show you how strong attacker can be so now you need to think how much you should be learning in order to understand what is real and what is phishing and what is fake so that you can protect yourself right so yeah, that's all in this particular video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next.